I didn't film like an actual intro for this vlog before we left for the show, but anyways, we're going to a horse show this weekend. <laughs> So Friday morning, we got the ponies fed and finished packing the trailer before we headed off to the horse show. Good job. She wants her chip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take this to my home. After we got the pony situated and the tax all set up, I hopped on Pablo to school him and then Riley got on him after me because she was the one that was actually going to show him this weekend. After Pablo was done, we were able to eat some lunch and then I hopped on Marco to get him ready for Bella and Chloe to ride today. Bella was the first one to hop on Marco after I was done with him. The show we did before this one was supposed to be Bella's move up show so that she could start doing cross rails, but that didn't work out very well. So the goal was to be able to actually do cross rails this weekend. And then after Bella was done with Marco, Chloe hopped on him to practice her trot poles. Chloe did one walk trot class at the last horse show, but this horse show was really like her first actual show that we were 100% planning on her showing at. Chloe has been cantering and jumping at home, so I felt like at this horse show she'd be totally fine to go do trot poles on Marco. And this right here is why I like the kids that at least be cantering a little bit before they go show Marco because sometimes Marco has a mind of his own and he doesn't always do what we want him to do.
Saturday morning, I hopped on Marco to prep him for Belle and Chloe, but as you can see, he's still quite sassy. The girls just rode him around a little bit and got some more practice in before the show started. And then Bella got Roxy up to the ring and got her warmed up before her two walk trot classes first thing this morning. Roxy was really good for Bella. They're obviously still forming a partnership, but they were third in the under saddle today and first in the X. After the walk trots were done, Chloe hopped on Marco to do her trot pulls and she did really awesome with it, especially it being her first time doing trot pulls at a horse show. And she ended up winning one of the trips over fences and winning the under saddle. After trot pulls, Bella got on Marco to do cross rails and it went a lot better for her this time. She was able to get her first show doing cross rails under her belt and she ended up with some good ribbons. for this weekend. Brittany got to do lead line for the first time and she had a blast and it was so much fun to watch. All of the girls divisions were back to back so it was a little bit hectic today. While we were doing lead line, Riley had Pablo in the warm up ring and was just warming him up on the flat and then as soon as I was done with lead line I was able to go help Riley and we got him to the ring so she could do short stirrup. Riley's really starting to figure Pablo out and their rounds are getting more consistent and there was a lot of moments that were really quite nice to watch this weekend. There was also some moments at the show that showed Riley what her homework is with this pony and once we get all of that sorted out we're probably going to be moving up. This part right here kills me because Pablo's lead change is still quite green, so he doesn't usually get the back lead, and so Riley's used to bringing him back to a trot and fixing it really quick, but Pablo surprised us all and did a full lead change, and I honestly didn't even see it until I was editing the video. Pablo ended up winning one of the over fences, which is actually the first class that Riley's ever won on him. They're usually at the top of the ribbons, but they've never actually won a class together, so it was kind of a big moment for them. 
And then Riley had what was by far her best under saddle on this pony. She finally just relaxed a little bit and let the pony stretch his neck down and not hold him up like a giraffe. She picked up both leads correctly on the first try and she just figured out how to be soft and just stay out of his way and show the pony off. You know, like you can go out there and just ride and do what they tell you to do or you can go out there with the purpose of showing your pony and making them look the best that they can possibly look and she finally figured out how to show the pony off and make him look really nice. First place and congratulations goes to $2.99. That's Hot Rod. We are all done showing today. Chloe did trot pulls for the first time. And I got two first place, one third. Yep. And Riley did short syrup on Pablo. She won the under saddle mm -hmm. and one of the over fences. And then Bella also did cross rails on Marco and we finally made it over the jumps. And she got some good ribbons. And Brittany did lead line. Tell me what you got. I'm gonna show you my ribbon. <laughs> you got first place. Yeah. We'll find another show to do a derby at. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this at you. Oh, this is what my hair is. Ah, okay, okay. Here, I'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> You give up yet? Oh, pretty pony. So pretty. There, I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> first place, I'm first place. Come here. First. Hi, Tater Tot. Do you want to show them your stick and all of its many uses? Did you have a nice nap? Yeah. I want to take a nap. I but you can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm not doing anything. Because you're little. You need a nap. If I don't take a nap, I'll be fine. Both of my ponies are barefoot, and Marco was having a lot of trouble walking across all the rocks to get to the ring, and honestly, Pablo wasn't a big fan either, but Marco was having the most trouble, so I packed his feet with the supplies I had, which weren't really ideal, and Bella poulticed him, and we just did whatever we could to make him feel good enough to hopefully be able to show tomorrow. And then after that, we got to make ourselves look like actual humans and go eat some dinner. Sunday morning, Marco's feet were unfortunately just out of place where they were hurting him too bad and it wasn't fair to make him show today, so he was scratched from trot poles and cross rails. It of course sucked, but at least the girls got to show him yesterday and it went well for them and Bella was finally able to do cross rails even if it was just for one day. So yeah, Marco got the day off today and it was just Roxy and Pablo showing and Bella did both walk trots on Roxy and won both the under saddle and the Eck on her. 
Alright riders, I have the results of class number 68, that's Rock Trot in the saddle. First place and congratulations goes to 282, that's Ben Wake Sneak a Peek. After we had a bit of a break since Marco wasn't showing today, it was Pablo's turn to go in short stirrup. Riley had some pretty good rides on Pablo again today. There was a sticky moment or two in each round, but it's getting a lot better, which is what is important. Pablo also ended up winning another of the overfences today. Since Marco was out of commission for the day, Pablo got to be a substitute lead line pony and he was really good for Brittany, but honestly the biggest thing I am thankful for is that when the judge came over to talk to Brittany, Pablo didn't like headbutt her or anything, he acted like a civilized young man. What'd you get? For what? <laughs> What's this? What's this stuff called? Hand sanitizer. <laughs> Hand sanitizer? So what do you do with this? Do this. What are you supposed to do with it? Rub your hands. What's it do? Cleans them. So what's this called again? Hand sanitizer. Okay. Hey Riley, can you get me my gloves out of my backpack? Please. No, they're in the big pocket. Do you know whose it is? Mine and Pablo's. Yeah. Champion. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. Champion and champion. Oh, good job, girls. <laughs> and Bella, if you would have just placed a little higher in the under saddle, you would have been yeah. with her with them. It's like the gift card is mine now because the child <laughs> can't keep track of it. This horse has hurt himself. He's been hurt pretty much all weekend. We finally get to see what his leg looks like. While we were at the horse show, I think it was like Saturday morning, the girl that was taking care of the horses that didn't come to the show with us got a hold of us and basically just let us know that Kane did something to his leg. So when we got home from the show, we were able to kind of look at his leg and decide, you know, what we wanted to do with it. We went ahead and just had a vet come x-ray it because if you've not been following me for very long, I've had terrible luck with horses. I mean, I've always had terrible luck with horses. Nothing really ever works out for me, but especially last year, I've had terrible luck with horses. So I was like, let's just get ahead of this. Let's not let it turn into something that doesn't have to be. So the x-rays got taken. Thankfully, nothing was like fractured. It's just completely superficial. So he got some antibiotics 
and we cold hose and poulticed him for a few days. It's actually been a few days since we first saw his leg in person and it's completely back to normal. I'm planning on lunging him today and seeing what he looks like. I think he's good to go. It was just a little bit of a stressful situation, but I'm glad it was not really a big deal. It just looked kind of bad. 